Hey, what's up guys? This is Liam Weagle on your Overwatch back with a new video today. I wanted to take some time to talk about heroes that are massively underrated or underutilized in matchmaking. Some of these heroes have received buffs that I think were more significant than people realize. So let me know in the comments what heroes out of this list you like to play and also where you like to utilize them. So normally with these videos we talk about the best heroes, but today... Who should you be playing? Well, May is the first one I want to put on the list. And of course, context matters a lot with all of these heroes, where May in specific is very niche. You're going to be wanting to play her mainly on defense, especially on them Hannah Mora and Eichenval choke points. The thing about May is she's had three buffs in recent months that made her significantly better. So the first one is her freeze. And this is the one that I thought didn't do a lot, but it actually does. So people are now frozen for longer and the slow duration lasts longer too so if you get too close to a may you can't really get away anymore because you're so much slower for so much longer so that's one big deal and secondly she now uses a lot less resource when using her ranged icicle alternate fire and this does a ton of damage it does more damage than a mccree headshot up close so it's very powerful and on top of this she also had the fact that anti nade didn't really affect her anymore because when she goes into her icicle form to heal herself it now removes statuses like anti nade so even though may didn't become the new tracer or genji she did become better at what she does so if you like may have ever played her or have thought about it i recommend you practice her in quick play maybe even deathmatch with her a little bit learn how to to hit them headshots which now cost less resource and you can just put her in a choke when you've got a Reinhardt comp to follow up on it or even a junk wrap with it too she can be really strong and you can also put her sometimes in the support slot and then run maybe a solo heal Moira or something depending on the context she's very good against Reinhardt too and a lot of people are playing Reinhardt and she's also very good when the enemy team don't have a Lucio which is all of the time in matchmaking at most tiers so anywhere there's a nasty choke point is exactly where you're going to want to run may and she's definitely a lot better than what people are giving her credit for moving on we have doomfist and this comes with a massive disclaimer doomfist has had so many bug fixes since his initial nerf back when he released that i couldn't even find them all if i wanted to honestly he's precision on his right click his uppercut his ground slam even his ultimate and his hitbox at times has all been changed so much to make him way more consistent than he used to be the problem with doomfist is he's very difficult to play considerably harder than may is and i've tried to play him and i played him on an alt account a diamond and i'm okay sometimes but you see amazing doomfist at masters and gm and honestly people do not know how to deal with him but the big ad here is the amount of practice you'll need to have on him before you take him into a matchmaking is many many hours getting the combos down being able to slam the ground punch someone but cut while shooting in between all of them different animation cancels and also animation jumps you can use as well are very difficult to utilize but the thing that doomfist does is he can either defend a back line or or in matchmaking be wherever he wants whenever he wants because again if we don't have that lucio in the game as long as they're not running mccree roadhog torbjorn doomfist can just get in the back line to kill something and then get out again very quickly and be used as a very successful pick off hero but back to that disclaimer he is on a knife's edge of completely carrying your team and utterly throwing the entire game if you're not getting them pickoffs or defending your back line with Doomfist, it becomes very detrimental to your team straight away. And Widow's a little bit like this as well, where if you're hitting loads of headshots, you can look amazing. But when you get to the last point of 2 CP, you're so much better to have a tracer on the point to stay alive forever than a widow because them late frags are really important and if you can't land them abilities with doomfist and get them as well then there are just better picks out there he's definitely in the niche category with may but still really really strong in the right hands the next hero on this list is very important and we have spoke about it before so i won't go miles in depth but mercy is still 
very, very strong, even at the pro play. This one's not even just in matchmaking. Mercy is incredibly strong in the right hands. It's just, where do you pick Mercy? What does she do? Well, she's now very much a pocket hero, more than she used to be even, because the fat reses don't come in all the time and they're harder to pull off. You used to be able to fly into the enemy backline and res a Winston with all his HP. That's not really something you can do anymore. But if you play Mercy when there's a Farah, and if anyone ever picks Farah on your team, you should always have a Mercy for so many different reasons. She props up that Farah to make her almost unkillable at a lot of levels of play. She can res the Farah in the back line. She can also fly between her teammates to keep herself alive easier because if fire is up in the sky and something dives you, you always have that escape point to go to. Valkyrie still wins team fights to this date because your entire team being either healed or damage boost while you are unable to be killed pretty much is just super strong as well. And it's not just heroes like Farah. She can still prop up Widowmakers or Soldiers and McCrees in particular. Very, very strong for that because if a Winston tries to dive your soldier and you're just healing him while he's in his health pack, the Winston cannot do anything. And even if that soldier or backline hero does get Get picked you can still res them you can still get that massive swing value that she had in the mercy meta but it's just available in less comps than it used to be you can't run her in a dive comp anymore really unless you have that farah to fly up to or that soldier in the back still so it's not really a dive comp kind of like a hybrid comp pros will run this on hanamura where they'll have two dive tanks but they'll actually put a soldier on the high ground with a mercy this is still incredibly strong but you have to be very careful with your support picks nowadays and that takes me straight into my next underrated hero not only now but forever is Lucio. Now he had a fairly weak period over the last few months but he's back in a big way for a lot of different reasons. So Doomfist being better, Sombra being stronger, Traces and Genji still being a problem. One thing that Lucio does for all of these heroes is create problems. If they want to dive the back line and Lucio is there to peel for his other healer and boot them away, that is a big problem. I've even seen Defran, who is one of the best aimers in the world, complain that you should never try and kill a Lucio as Tracer by shooting him. Just leave him till the end of the fight because he's that difficult to kill. If Defran can't shoot Lucio, then the chances are people in your games cannot shoot you as Lucio. And it is very difficult to know where to utilize him, but if you're playing on a support pick, maybe you're playing Anna or Zen and you're having an off game where you can't quite land the headshots on the Tracer or sleep the Genji in the back line, picking Lucio and moving your team through that choke 50% faster is so much stronger than missing shots on Zen and trying to initiate with Transcendence or something. Lucio is actually not in the top 10 heroes at all for most ranks, but at Grandmasters, he's like fifth. He's one of the most picked heroes in the game. And he's also picked a lot again at the pro level nowadays because of the strength he has in peeling for his teammates and also getting through chokes. Again, Mei, Doomfist, Junkrat, these heroes that want to prey on the slow play, Lucio completely counters all of that. So when you're struggling in a game and you're not sure who to pick on your support, Lucio is usually a very good go-to answer. Now the last two heroes I will mention in name in a second, but what I want to say about them is that they are not underpicked and maybe not necessarily underrated, but misunderstood. And two heroes I want to talk about because they're very important. And these are D.Va and Junkrat. We'll start with Junkrat because it's quite quick. Basically, the nerf to his mines didn't make much of a difference and he is still incredible. Now, depending on the rank you play at when you're watching this video, you're probably thinking, I see him in every game. Well, at certain ranks, people are taking McCree's, Genji's, Tracers all the time, but if you just spam down a lane with Junkrat, he's incredibly strong still and underutilized for sure. You don't want a McCree on defense. Maybe you want Soldier Junkrat, but McCree Soldier's not a thing. McCree Tracer, why would you have that? I see maps like Dorado, people are trying to play McCree. Just play Junkrat, spam down the choke and win games. Honestly, guys, seriously underutilized. And D.Va 
even though has a really high pick rate right now at all levels of play, I want to talk about her because her play style is misunderstood. I know we've all seen the cinematic where D.Va's flying in, firing rockets, blowing stuff up, but really what you want to be doing as D.Va a lot of the time is picking your battles. Go with your Winston and when he dives in, eat up all that damage and you'll just kill things. When there's a Tracer in the back line and neither of your supports will pick Lucio and you've got Anna Zen walking into a slow choke, if you peel as D.Va and just take care of that Tracer instead of being a mini D.Va main, which I've seen many of in matchmaking, you will win a lot more games. If you play D.Va to be the peel hero that she's really good at and then getting them big burst impact kills on the soldier on the high ground at the right time but not getting D.Mech'd, D.Va is actually low-key the best hero in the game right now and a lot of people don't realize it because they don't play her right so we've got some diva guys on the channel i'm sure there's others around as well that you can check out so they're my six heroes that i think you guys should take a look at may and doomfist very good in the right context lucio and mercy oh my god they're so much better than anyone gives them credit for and Diva and Junkrat, take a think about how you're playing them, where you're playing them, or why maybe you're not playing Junkrat, because honestly, you should be. Also, Mercy's great with a Junkrat as well. So let us know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on the meta and the picks that you want to pick, or any team comp ideas that you might have. Be sure to drop a like, as it does help us out and lets us know that you're enjoying the content, and you're going to want to hit that bell icon so you get notified when our videos go live, because we upload each and every day, as Frida always tells you. So... You should have a great day as always, guys. Take care and peace, people.